hello students in this lecture we are going to discuss pedigree analysis what is pedigree it is a record of occurrence of a trait in several generations family history is collected for that trait so pedigree analysis is nothing but a record of occurrence of a trait in a family and family tree is made uh, following some conventions for example male members are represented by square female by circle siblings are represented by a horizontal line mm. solid symbols represent the trait being investigated and open symbols represent normal individuals for that trait for example in this pedigree you can see that the solid represents the trait being investigated and the open circles represent so this normal, is the representation the of is not found. Um, symbols which are used in pedigree for example you can see that males are represented by square females are represented by circle affected individuals are represented by solid um, circle and square mating is represented by putting a horizontal line offsprings are represented uh, in order of birth by putting uh, putting a vertical line and then a horizontal line like this and um, then identical twins you can see here that they are represented by putting a uh, triangle like this non-identical twins are uh, represented by putting a open triangle and uh, here you can see that deceased or died individuals who have died they are represented by putting a slash uh, on circle or square then twins are represented like this also adopted individuals are uh, represented by putting brackets and um, then uh, by roman numerals like one and two we represent the generation of uh, individuals so these are some more representations here you can see that the carrier individual or the heterozygous individual they are represented like half shaded and half open and uh, in some books they are represented by putting a dot inside circle or inside square so these are some more representations uh, for pedigree analysis what is the importance of pedigree that pedigree analysis can give information about the genotype of an individual for the trait under investigation. It is also useful for hereditary studies in sexually reproducing organisms and it can also give information uh, to the would-be couples regarding the danger of certain genetic defect which might run in their family. So you can refer different books for uh, representation of different symbols uh, like this uh, photograph is from peers and here you can see how um, the symbols are used so you have to memorize or remember all these uh, symbols while doing problems of ped pedigree analysis now we will just read this text from peers there are six uh, you can see that there are um, five kinds of pedigrees and ped pedigree ca um, these pedigrees can be uh, represented uh, these pe pedigree which are of five kinds they are of they are called as autosomal recessive trait autosomal dominant trait x-link recessive trait x-link dominant trait and y-link dominant trait so we will read uh, the characteristic features of all these uh, traits one by one and try to understand the different kinds of pedigree so the first kind of pedigree is autosomal uh, recessive trait in this the first point is usually it appears in both the sexes with equal frequency tends to skip generations affected offsprings are usually born to unaffected parents when both the parents are heterozygous uh, approximately one-fourth of the offsprings will be affected 
appears more frequently among children of consanguineous marriage which means that uh, the marriage which happens between cousins so why these what are these features these features suggest that autosomal recessive traits traits they will appear in both the sexes because the genes are located on autosomes so they are equally distributed in males and females they tend to skip generation because uh, when the when the person is heterozygous the trait will not be expressed third point is affected offsprings are usually born to unaffected parents because say both the parents are heterozygous so they will be unaffected but when they produce a child who is uh, homozygous recessive the trait will be affected fourth point is when both the parents are heterozygous approximately one fourth of the offspring will be affected this you will understand from the pedigree problems and fifth point is appears more frequently among children of uh, this um, consanguineous marriages now the uh, second type of pedigree is autosomal dominant trait here usually appears in both the sexes with equal frequency because it is a dominant trait both the sexes transmit the uh, trait to the offspring so it will not skip generation it, it, it will be appeared in all the generations because this is a dominant trait does not skip generation affected offspring must have an effect affected parent unless they possess a new mutation and when one parent is affected and the other is unaffected approximately half the offspring will be affected because all the this is a dominant trait and unaffected parents do not transmit the trait now the third kind of pedigree is your x-linked recessive trait here this is very important because all the problems related to uh, your pedigree analysis they will come in this most problems like hemophilia color blindness etc so usually it appears more uh, males um, affected ma males than females are affected because it is a x-linked recessive trait so even uh, when there is one x chromosome present in the individual carrying homo uh, recessive allele it will express so that is why males are more affected affected sons are usually born to unaffected mothers and usually the trait skips generations so uh, this is this you you will understand from the problems approximately half of a uh, carrier mother sons are affected never passes from father to son because the fathers pass x chromosomes to their daughters and all the daughters of affected fathers are carriers now the next uh, kind of pedigree is x-link dominant trait so here both the males and females are usually affected because it is a dominant trait and X is chromosome is present in both males and females. Often more females than males are affected because it is X-link dominant trait. Then uh, does not skip generation. Affected fathers will pass the trait to all the daughters and then affected mothers will pass the trait to half their sons and half their daughters. Now, why link trait is very easy. Why only males are affected, passed from fathers to all sons and does not skip generation. Now, let us see some uh, example, photographic representations. This is uh, the, the first one is autosomal recessive trait. So, we have discussed what are the features of this trait and examples are albinism, sickle cell anemia, phenylketonuria, taste sacs and cystic fibrosis. All these diseases uh, are due to autosomal recessive trait. So male and females will be equally affected. It will skip generation and the affected parents uh, can uh, pass this trait to children. Unaffected parents can pass this trait to their children. Now this is a pedigree of um, this autosomal recessive trait where you can see that in the first gener when the parents this is uh, this is your um, mother and father when they get married they give right they produce three children out of these three children the second one uh, the third one third uh, you can see in this pedigree it is represented by third number three which is red so this girl is affected and uh, when in third generation you can see that when the first cousins 
they get married uh, so they produce children and in this children in four generation and the second child who is a male he is had this is affected so when you uh, work out the uh, genotypic um, genotypes of these affected individuals you will you will have to uh, hypothesize what can be the, the genotypes of these individuals so we, you can see that the fourth in four generation the child affected child is carrying homozygous recessive alleles from both the parents that is why the child is uh, affected and in this you can see that this uh, autosomal trait is skipping generations. So autosomal dominant trait we have already discussed that all the individuals will be affected in all the uh, generations and what are the examples polydactyly Hutchinson's chorea, crown of teeth, destroyed familial, hypercholesterolomia, uh, five volt spotting, uh, A-dermatoglyphia, Wardenburg syndrome. So you can see that in this pedigree you can see that and the affected individuals are present in all the generations. None of the generations is skipped and males and females are equally affected. So these are some more photographs where you can see that uh, uh, Hutchinson's chorea, a form of dwarfism. So in Hutchinson's chorea, um, there are uncontrolled movements and uh, the uh, clumsiness, loss of balance, slurred speech, etc. So this is the autosomal dominant trait. Now these are some more examples of hypercholesteremia is an autosomal dominant trait and then crown of teeth is destroyed so autosomal some more photographs of autosomal uh, disorder five wall spotting Wardenburg syndrome and some more photographs where you can see examples of polydactyly now X-link dominant trait we have just discussed that this is a X-link disorder, so uh, known and dominant trait. So none of the uh, it will be passed on to all the generations, and the females will be more affected than males. So you can see here that it is a X-link disorder. Females are more affected, and none of the generation is skipped here. Now X-link recessive trait. Examples are your color blindness, hemophilia, testicular feminization, muscular dystrophy. It follows crisscross inheritance and you can see that this is one of the examples of um, X-linked recessive trait where the heterozygous individuals, they are unaffected but they are passing the disease to their offspring. So more, more males are affected than females in this. This is a um, hemophilia disease which is a X-linked recessive disorder and this pedigree is showing in the classical hemophilia example of a royal family. Y-linked traits are present in males only because it is carried on Y chromosome and you can see that this is the example of hairy ears and this is an example of a violent pedigree where you can see that only males are affected so these are some problems of, from the book Griffiths you can refer uh, Griffiths for or gen, um, any other genetics book for doing the problems of pedigree this is one more pedigree which is an autosomal pedigree. Some more problem. More problem from peers. Some more problem from peers. You can um, practice these. Some more problem from peers. Another one from internet. So thank you students. We will be meeting in next lecture now. Huh?